Hey, sneaky little spent tonight. Tonight we've got the latest release of, yes, Puppy Alex 5.2 or Lucid Puppy 5.2, whatever you want to call it. Now, I've done the release candidate before, haven't I? So I thought, we'll just give the new one a go, because they've ironed out some bits and bobs and little problems there was, because there was a little few when I've done the last one. So basically, easy puppy setter, same as it always is, nice, easy to use. You know what it looks like. If you don't, it's easy, isn't it? Look, easy, easy. Quick pets in there for all your little stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load it up with some programs. Let's see if it crashes. This is what I normally do with some pups. Just see if it is as stable as they say it is. Now on the whole, it normally is. And this one is proving no exception. As you can see, look. I've got Ion as my browser. Ion, Ion. Oh, I love it. Is that a Jamaican browser, Ion? Or is it I and I? I'll get confused. Anyway, I'll open Osmo as well. I'm going to have an M player, which is your multimedia player, or your movie player. We'll move them along. we go do something else and open another one. What should we do? I'll tell you what. We'll go up and down the menu. The menu is in the left-hand bottom box, as normal. There's no Gimpy in that installed. You've got to do that yourself. That's how they keep the ISO down nice and small. They give you the basics, and then you can get what you want. So I'm going to open the picture viewer. Now, I've never actually opened that before. And that seems all right, doesn't it? Yeah. If you want to use that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's all right. Documents, graphics again, that file system. I'll just find some stuff to open up for you more in a, in a day. Personal, no, 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 I've done that with that. You can see irons in there, as you see. Oh, look, Dilo, or Dilo, whatever you call it. But I think it's called Dilo 2.2. Nice little browser, but it may not render some stuff very good. But it's really, really small and quick, so that yeah, offsets it, really. Okay, we've got Pup Radio for streaming audio and video, and you can just put in your own stuff there if you really want to. Now, we've got quite a few windows open there, haven't we, look? So, yeah, P Music's there as well, Lucid Webcam Viewer. Never used it, actually. Not in this one, anyway. Asunder, one of my faves, opens, does the job, what it says on the tin. Lovely. A few games there, not as many as before, but hey, who cares? Elsa Mixer. Now, if you're having trouble with your sound, give this one a go first, and you can just sort it out. So up there, look, we've got more and more windows open. Uh, loads and loads of stuff open. We'll go to system status and configuration. Should we do that now? Or should we do something else first? No, I'm going to do G parted first. Now you can see I've got put a nice little disk here, a nice little partition. Anyway, and you can see, nice, it runs using nothing at all, really, is it? Nothing whatsoever. And it's very, very stable. When I tried some of the first release candidates, well, they wasn't actually release candidates. When I was just testing, there were some problems. So I've opened up Quick Pet anyway. I'm going to go to Lucid Puppy News. Now, this was bringing the Iron Browser back up. I'm going to open this up for you. If you just wait a second, I'll just square it out a bit. Because I'm doing that sort of stuff tonight, as you do. Now, from here, you can get the latest Firefox, Opera, the latest Iron Browser, the latest Sea Monkey, the racing car simulator. I must try that. And there's also a nightly build from Chromium 10, which is the latest and greatest. Remember, Chromium is a far ahead of Chrome, which is Google Chrome. A bit different. It tells you all about it here, what they've done, what they've done. And you can see all the contributors down the bottom, which there are loads and loads of super duper gifts to you all. Love it. So, yeah, anyway, we'll go back to the system. Now, this time we're going to open up HTOP, and you can see what's running. Now, as you can see, it's only using 100 meg of all that stuff open and the CPU ain't doing nothing this is my usual test machine now this is how stable it is when I tried I think it was 516 or 518 there was a little few problems of um, I'd say it was memory leakage but they've sorted it out whatever it was but hey all done now all super duper lovely I'm going to close them all down now as you can see close them one by one you'll see the memory go down in HTOP as we go you can see slowly going down down, down, deeper and down, lean, lean, down, down. No, stop singing. That's a bad song. Okay, anyway, we're closing it all down. One more, one, one more after that, and one more after that. It's stable, not crashed, not done anything naughty. I want to close down here, look. So we'll quit that, and as you can see, at the base, it's using 49 meg of RAM. For no CPU, basically. And that probably goes down at idle to around about 9, I suppose, on this machine. So, super duper. Love it. I'll tell you what I will do, though. I'll go and close Osmo. Now, Osmo, because it's your calendar thing, it stays open all the time once you open it. You don't have to do that. Really, do. Now, quick pet. As usual, you get all your pets in here. 
quickly downloading them if you don't know what to do with the Puppet Package Manager. Loads of browsers. Or you can add more if you want to. Useful Pets, VLC, Composer, Cinerilla. I still use Cinerilla nowadays, actually. It's quite good. Your small FS... Oh, sorry. I'll say that again. SFS stuff. Which is a, a compressed stuff that they put in here. You can actually install it, basically. There's virtual box that I haven't tried. Uh, having a bit of a problem with virtual box in Puppy at the moment. So I'm going to try this tomorrow when I've got some time. So I'll go to install. Now, I'm not going to install that. I'm going to the Puppy Package Manager. Here we go, we'll open them up. It takes us a little while to open, as you will see in a second. There you go. Now there's a lot more in here than there was before for 5.1. Now I've installed XORKI for my drivers, iron, and the wallpapers for Lucid. There's lots in desktop here. There's P widgets is there. We'll go to system, open them up. Loads in there, loads of language packs for different stuff. Lovely, like it. These are all tested and all should work, by the way. If they don't, somebody's not done their job properly, but normally, on the whole, they do. As you can see, there's loads and loads of drivers here for different stuff, for NVIDIA, etc., and all other stuff. Nice. And they've put the little Realtek new Wi-Fi driver in there, which I'm going to try out tomorrow as well. Now, to run some programs, you do need Python. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download Python for look at my desktop and open shot and stuff like that. You do need it. So where do I download it from? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the middle of it. Have a little smoke. Ah, that felt good. Okay, so we'll download the package now. I'm nice and flat and horizontal. And it's quite quick here. My bandwidth has been throttled, by the way, by my uh, ISP, which I have written to them about. It's half the speed it was. But yeah, that's another story. Okay, so in theory now, let's just start installing. There we go. So we'll click OK. We we'll wait a bit longer. And longer, 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 longer. This bit took quite a bit, as you can see by the time. But eventually, it was okay. So yeah, that's super duper. Python's installed. All works nice. I have installed other stuff after this, by the way, and it all works nice. Open shot and um, record my desktop did play together very well for the first time. I've not rebooted the system, so I don't know if it's going to do that again. But we'll soon find out. Anyway, back to my Ion browser. Okay, I'm going to put in YouTube just to see if Flash support is there. So I'm going to click on the tube. I'm going to click OK because that's where I live, basically. Now, for reasons, I have to show you one of my own videos, basically. But I'll scrub them down and make sure it's all right. Yeah, it looks all right to me, doesn't it? Is it all right to you? Yeah, super fine. So I'll put in me, and when I do that, it will actually go to my page. Well, it was my search results, anyway. We'll just play a quick video. This is one I've done the other night. On Zorin, five four three two one. Ah, I've got a swirly thing. You know it's going to work. That's super great. So yeah, everything works. I like it, and it's quite a bit snappier than the last version of Puppy Lynx, which was five point one. So nice, really good. I've done a real good job here. Now what I'm going to say is, go out, get the ISO, put it on a stick, and run it for a stick for a while, and see how you get on. I think you'll be very, very pleased with it. Sneaky links out.